Good morning everyone. Welcome to another tutorial with Sublime Swell. Today I'm going to be talking about Digital Paintball Redux, uh, a Half-Life mod that was recently released on Steam. Um, it's here and uh, we got a lot of players playing and some of you had questions about how to install the different gun skins, how to change uh, the color of your paint and the fill, um, and some of the other various modifications that exist. So there's one site for this. It's uh, Bring Your Own Paint, which is pretty much the developer's site for all the content that exists. Um, and the address, I'll, I'll put it in the video description, but it's byop.dpbredux.net. Okay, but let's get into it. So you've got your different markers in game. You want to change how they look. Um, let's say you want to work with the angel, just as an example. Um, actually, here's a picture of the, uh, the default uh, stock angel. So we're going to go into downloads, markers, You've got maps also, um, sprites, all this stuff we'll talk about. But here's your markers, here are your manufacturers, all the various manufacturers from pretty much the history of paintball. We're going to go to Angel. Now, one note um, is that each marker has a unique sound in the game. And just because the, you know, the marker that you pick up is the Angel, you can change that skin and make it whatever marker you want. So it's the Angel by default, but if you wanted to change it to you know, a Mac dev marker, a droid, or any of the other cyborg, you could do that. It'll change and it'll be, uh, it'll appear as a Mac dev instead of an angel. So just so you know, um, I kind of stick with the one-on-one -on -one categories. If it's an angel, I change it to another angel, but you can change it. Um, and I'll show you how that's done later on. We're going to change our angel for now. So you click on angel and uh, let's pick one. We're going to pick uh well, if you click on them, it'll show you some previews. That's pretty sweet looking. A little red anodized. Um, here's another one. Blue back fade. It's pretty cool. IR, IR4 from back in the day. Got your real old school LCD. And uh, But we're going to just choose the Rage Angel, which is what I shoot. It's, a, it's an example here. We're going to download it. We're going to save it. Alright, and we're going to go to the downloads folder, and then we're going to look for the, the zip file it c that it comes in. We're going to right click, extract all. Now here we're going to point it to the directory for D uh, DPB Redux, okay? So we're going to go browse. Now we're starting from the main hard drive, we're going to go program files, Steam, then Steam apps, then common, then Half-Life, and here it is, DPB Redux. Uh, I recommend that uh, you pin this to your quick access here on the left, so you can just click and go to it. I've got it here, you can see I've got also the Maps directory, um, so you can put it in your Maps folder if you have new maps. You know, this is where your models, which is where your guns go, all this stuff. So let's go in, DPB Redux, and we're going to go to Models. And uh, we don't need to go into any of this stuff. We're just going to choose models. And we're going to select, extract. Now you can see that when I extract, it's asking me if I want to replace the file. Because there's already a file named, this file name right here, v underscore angel dot mdl. So you want to replace it, okay? Um, we're going to go ahead and replace it. And that's it. Now the angel that used to be the vanilla stock angel is an A1 Rage angel. Okay. One little note: um, when you extract files, sometimes uh, the extracting utility will create a folder. So f um, this is an example. It'll create a folder just named A1 Rage, or whatever. So you'll have to sometimes go into this folder, pick up the file paste it back in this main one where we extracted and delete the folder. It, it creates like a, you know, like an extra folder. So just be aware that if, if it doesn't work, you might want to look at that. Same thing goes for maps. It's just in part of the extractor sometimes. So we'll delete that. Okay. So we can uh, start up. Let's start up Digital Paintball Redux. And we'll sh I'll show you. We'll go to blue team and check it out. 
We got our A1 Angel, the Rage Edition. Okay? So. You want to change your paint fill. Let's go to here, the download section. Go to paint fill. Ooh. You've got your scattered, just any kind of rec ball mix paint here. You got blue, yellow, some egg fill. I've never seen that before, really, but... Here's green. You've got all the colors you could imagine. Pink, I like pink because I'm a Tan Man fan, so pink was what they used back in the day and probably even today. Red, white, etc. So we're going to download the pink. Wait. Oh, this is purple. The purple's a little darker. We're going to go with pink. We're going to save it. Save it. Download. Go to your downloads folder. Right click. Extract. Let's do it one more time from the beginning. Program files, Steam, Steam apps, Common, Half-Life, and DPB Redux. That's, this is your main like root folder for the game. So now, here uh, for, for the uh, paint fill, we actually just want to leave it in the main DPB Redux folder. Okay, So we're going to select that folder, and we're going to extract and you can see that just like the um, angel uh, we just did it's asking you to replace it and you want to replace it because you're copying over the file and it's not going to be yellow anymore it's going to be pink so that's how that goes I'm not going to replace it this time just because I've already got pink fill so I'm just going to leave it okay that's how it's done um, and it's pretty much that same procedure for all the different um, mods it's just that you have to know which folders they go into so markers you can see that went into models. Paint fill goes into just the root folder, which is um, DPB Redux. Um, I never really mess with player models, um, but I'm pretty sure they go into models and then player. I uh, haven't really messed with those. And then uh, you got sprites. So this is cool, um, especially if you want to change the outside shell of your paintballs. You go to here in sprites, and you got your two tone, got your all star. Some of these are from back in the day, so maybe some of the young guys might not know these. Um, but yeah, all star, got the chronic paint from back in the seven man days, LT gray, evil, marbleizer, all this stuff. So actually, I'm going to change mine because I, I haven't changed mine yet. I'm going to go with the evil though. Go with the evil brand. We're going to download it. Same procedure extract we're gonna go to the DPB Redux alright I'm not gonna do it again we've already done it okay and this goes into sprites the sprites folder same thing you're gonna extract it you know um, and you're it's gonna ask you to replace something uh, and um, that's that's it so I'm not gonna do it all the way because we've already done it twice okay it goes into the sprites folder let's see what else um, paint fill. There's sounds. Okay. Um, you've got these different sounds for the guns, um, and they're good. I've tried these. Um, however, we have put together, um, just me and some friends of mine, we've put together our own sound pack, which replaces actually the air ball sounds. I've tried these before. They're okay. But I think everybody's been giving me like rave reviews of the one we, we created. We created it from like real sounds, like, you know, um, so it really sounds a lot better than the vanilla game. So I'll show you how to do that. Um, go to the game Discord, the official Discord. I'm going to open that up. Okay, this is the official Discord for DPB Redux. If you go up here to the pinned messages, you'll see I've pinned a few things. And you'll see here Sublime's Airball Marker Sound Pack. It's all in one. So it comes with all the Airball sounds, and it comes with a bunch of replacements for the uh, Marker sounds. So if you download that, click on it, download it. Let's download it. Same thing. Same procedure. Going to go Okay, back into the DPB Redux folder. Um, now this is going to go into the sound folder and then the weapons folder okay your what your gun sounds are in here but also the air ball like um, you know when the ball hits the bunker sounds they're in here too so you want to choose the weapons folder and then just extract it like usual remember that sometimes the extractor will create 
an extra folder that might be called like sublime airball sounds or something like that just look out for that because if it creates the folder you're gonna have to go into the folder grab all the files in here come back to weapons paste them into weapons so just remember that sometimes it happens alright that's sounds so um, check those sounds out they're pretty cool um, trying to see what else let's see markers you know again you can uh, let's do let's do a replace let's do um if you're changing markers completely like not replacing an angel with an angel but replacing an angel with uh i don't know and um let's replace an angel with a shocker i'm gonna go to smart parts let's grab a shocker let's do a dynasty we got the dynasty black let's do let's do uh the tauntaun shocker it's pretty cool looking I'm gonna download it same thing you're gonna download it And the markers go into uh, models, remember? Extract. Models. All right, just the main models folder. Select folder. Now, I'm not going to do it because it's actually going to replace the, the gun I've got in there now. So when you extract, basically, the name of this new gun, you know, the shocker, you're going to have to, let's go in here. You can see it's called V underscore shocker. Well, you're going to have to, um, once it's extracted, I can't do it here. Once it's extracted, <coughs> you rename it whatever the angel, um, you know, it's going to be V underscore angel, I'm pretty sure. It's always like whatever it is called in the original download, you just rename it with the same V, or sometimes it's a, like a P or a, some other letter, but just do V underscore shocker. And you can check this by going into the models folder, and you can look, scroll down. And you'll see, see some of them are P. I'm not really sure what these P's are, but the V's I think are the ones that matter. I think the V's are the ones they're all. So you got Timmy, Spider, Shocker, Angel, Bushmaster, Bush, both for Bushmaster, Cocker, Emag. All this stuff can be replaced. You can replace any of these with any other kind of gun. You just have to name it the same as the one you want to replace, and then uh, it'll it'll change it. So, all right, that's how that goes. Uh, let's see what else. That's pretty much it. Um, maps. Um, when you download maps, say you want to download, you can do the entire map pack, but let's just do one field. Let's do a JT field. Do this JT field right here. Download it. And it's going to go into the maps folder. So I'm not going to go through the whole procedure, but um, you go back into the root folder. There's a maps folder, and it goes in there. Okay. And that's how you do the maps. You can even do an entire map pack that way. Um, so, alright guys, I hope this was helpful, and uh, I'll see you on the field.